Welcome to another episode of Gym Launch. My name is Ken Owen, CEO of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs. And today I am breaking down a gym owner submission that we had from our sales team about a place that has two locations in LA and California. It's a CrossFit gym. Both locations are 12,000 square feet. The first location, which was the one obviously that was started, it's kind of HQ if you think about it, has 405 members. They make anywhere between 70 to $75,000 a month. Never spent a dime on marketing, which congratulations, that's incredible. Their entire goal really is to build a management team out and be able to scale it and do what they need, but they have 12,000 square feet, which is incredible. So we'll get to that in just a second. The second location has 250 members. They're breaking even about $40,000 a month. That's kind of where they're at. So how do we scale this? How do we grow? What should we do here to see what's possible? When we look at location number one, location number one has 12,000 square feet and they have plenty of room to grow. Because if we think about the square footage per member, especially in CrossFit using a barbell, you need roughly 100 square feet per client in a session, which means that technically if you're using all 12,000 square feet and it was completely open, you could have 120 people in it. That's not feasible, it's not possible, it's not gonna happen. So what we're gonna do is there's really two primary things that we're gonna do to skyrocket this facility and also clear a bunch of headache out. Number one, we're gonna sell location number two, cut it off, done. It's just another distraction. It requires a ton of time. Typically what happens when you open up another location and the other one isn't fully set, you're just gonna cause a ton of distractions. A lot of time is gonna be invested in this. A lot of money is gonna be sunk into it. And what's gonna happen is, is location number one is going to drop while location number two grows and you're just gonna kind of ultimately be making the same amount of money. What we wanna do is be able to make a ton more money and help it grow. So because of the fact that this gym owner also has two other partners, my suggestion would be is just focus on one. You could also get rid of it or hand this one off to another partner cut ties and let them build the other one so that you just get one. But ultimately the entire goal should be to just get rid of this one gym. It already has a ton of people in there. It's making good revenue. You could sell it for a decent amount of money even though it's breaking even. You don't have to just give it away. So first step is location number two cut it, okay? Now you get a bunch of time and attention back. Now, with that time and attention, what I would do is I would take 2,000 square feet of that 12,000 square feet, and I would build a semi-private only section, just semi-private, so four on one model, and here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go out and you're gonna run and basically go after 10% of your clients, and I can guarantee you 10% of your clients out of those 405 want semi-private, they want more attention, and they are willing to pay for it, especially in LA. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go after those 40 people. With an average ticket price for the first 12 weeks of $2,400 or 2497 you're gonna make roughly 100 grand. Out of those 40 clients, you'll make 100 grand in roughly eight weeks of selling it and basically 16 weeks of fulfilling it. But those 40 clients, when you move them into EFT, they now, in that 2,000 square foot facility and area, you just added $20,000 a month in reoccurring revenue. And because you have a referral machine and you haven't even touched ads, if you wanted to run ads to refill those 40 spots in your large group, you could quickly do that. So now you go from 70, $75,000 a month to even with the loss of those 40 clients, you're still now going to be in that 90 to $95,000 a month range because you're going to be adding new people onto it and you can go hard on adding new people. But here's the kicker. I would focus solely on obviously maintaining your large group, but use it as a feeder system for your semi-private because you have the space and try to get to a hundred members in semi-private. A hundred members in a 2000 square foot facility is very easy to do. You can absolutely crush it. And what you're going to do is you're going to charge them 119 a week for three sessions a week. And so that's it, right? So you're going to pull the plug. You're going to go hard on semi-private. You don't have to mess with anything in your large group. Keep doing what you're doing. It sounds like you're doing an exceptional job. So you don't have to rock the boat there. Yes, we could pull some levers on pricing. Yes, you could do all that stuff. But frankly, you have a great opportunity on semi-privates just to be able to extend the LTV and increase your average client value every single month by adding that in. So the goal would be, number one, cut location number two. Get it out of your brain, get the attention back, spend more time on what's happening inside of your facility. Implement a new semi-private model. Block off, make it brand new. Block off 2,000 square feet of space. Outfit it where it has some more machines, it has more things. You can also go out and get a different type of clientele tell and make it way more prestigious. Make it something that is set apart and people really see it as an exclusive space just for semi-privates. Those people that are going to be in there, they're going to pay you $119 a week for three sessions a week. You can give them nutrition, accountability, all those things are built in. And what this does for you is it adds $50,000 a month in reoccurring when you get to 100 clients. So all of a sudden you're now at $125,000 a month. Your margins at that point are most likely you're taking home or net profiting every single month somewhere in the, I would say, 50 to $60,000 a month range. And that's a phenomenal business. Then what I would do is buy out your other partners. You're the sole owner, build a management team around that. And now all of a sudden you're taking home 50 grand a month and you really barely have to be there. That would be my suggestion on how to turn a two location CrossFit gym facility in Cali and LA into a one location, $125,000, $130,000 a month location, pulling in 50, 60, $70,000 a month. Do that. Hope you crush it. For those of you that are watching, and if you like this type of content, number one, I want to thank you for your time and attention. 
information. Number two is I would like to suggest if you want to learn how to do this and you're a gym owner anywhere in the world and you want to learn how to be able to grow your facility, there's two things you can do. One, subscribe, continue to watch. We're going to put out a ton of free content. The next thing that you could do, and more importantly, if you like to move a little bit faster and you like to scale faster, is we work with gyms all over the world. We've worked with gyms in 20 different countries. We've helped over 5,000 gyms scale. If you want to learn how you can work with us to be able to help you scale faster and implement the strategies that we talk about on this channel much faster and more effectively inside of your facility, go ahead, click one of the links down below in the description. You can book a call with our team. You can find out more about how we can help you and if you're eligible for us to help you. Either way, as always, thank you so much for your time and attention. I never want to take it for granted. I appreciate you. And remember, Gym Owners Rule.